Hey everybody, this is Andy Middleton from Angler, Atlanta, North Georgia Lakes and Rivers, and Christmas come late, I have a Tackle Warehouse order, and I'm going to do my first Tackle Warehouse unboxing video. Um, a lot of the guys I watch on YouTube do these, and uh, I always find it kind of interesting, even though it's just somebody opening a bunch of tackle out of a box. I'm curious to see what other people use, and... Uh, how they rig it and what works for them. So I'm going to do this today and hopefully it'll go well. And uh, if I get some good feedback on it, uh, we'll, we'll keep doing it whenever I order some more fishing stuff. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and cut into this box and see what we got. First thing we have is a couple packs of plastics. These are the Yum Woolly Hogtail. And I got a couple colors. I've got Green Pumpkin and I've got a color called Dark Grasshopper. Um, I think y'all probably know what Green Pumpkin looks like. But I'll get the Dark Grasshopper out, show you that one, and show you the, uh, the profile of these creature baits. I found these one time in a store and I bought a pack of them and I tried them, I've tried them several different ways. I put them on a shaky head and I put them on as a jig trailer, which is probably my favorite way. And uh, I've just uh, rigged them like Texas rig. And they're one of my favorite creature baits. Um, they don't really look like anything, but they look like something a fish would eat. So I'm um, pretty excited about getting these because uh, you can't find them really in stores that much, but Tackle Warehouse has them. Pretty cool. The next item is the Arky Crawling Fry, Salty Crawling Fry. I got that in Green Pumpkin. And I'm going to try this on a shaky head. Um, I put just about anything on a shaky head, so uh, this will be pretty cool to put on one. At, uh, Looks like an overgrown centipede. Lots of appendages. Uh, looks like you could flip it. Um, and you could probably wacky rig it even. Be interesting. Pre spawn. So. That's the Arky Salty Crawling Fry. And I got some fluorocarbon. Some Sniper, Sunline Sniper FC fluorocarbon. 20 pound, I'm going to use this for uh, maybe some flipping and uh, probably throw on the uh, bigger spoons like the Ben Parker uh, spoon. Got two packs of the Dirty Jigs Tackle Shaky Head. It's called the Stand Up Finesse Head. I got one pack in 3 16 and one pack in quarter ounce. And I've never used them before, but what I liked about them when I saw the picture of them was the fact that the eye of the hook, or the eye of the, the head of the jig is recessed. And if you can maybe see that, you can see the recessed eye there. It'll come through grass better that way. Um, a lot of times if the eye is exposed uh, outside of the lead in the head, it's, it's just another thing for grass to get hung up in and moss. And, Whatever's on the bottom, it just it, I, I just like this design. I, I've seen some in a round head. There's a local company here out of Canton, Georgia, that makes a round head with a recessed eye. And uh, this is more of an arky shaped head. And I, I think I'm really going to like these as long as they hold up well and, and they have sharp hooks. And it seems like they're pretty sticky, so it should be a good deal on the shaky head. I actually got two packs of each. This is another type of shaky head. This is called the Vike shaky head, and it's another Arky style shaky head, but this one is actually tungsten. Um, I know Picasso makes some tungsten shaky heads, but they only make them in a round, and this is more of a uh, 
This is more of a, uh, like I said, an Arky style or a creeper head style, a shaky head. So um, this will be good uh, to put a crawl on. It'll put the crawl in a defensive position. It'll kind of rock back and forth. So I try to consider myself a shaky head connoisseur. So I try as many as I can and try to figure out my favorite. And the last three items in here are swim baits. I got a swim bait rod for my birthday, and I don't. Uh, as of like last week, I didn't have any swim baits, so I, I got three in this order. Um, first one is really sweet looking. It's the Jackal Gantrell uh, Bluegill pattern swim bait, and uh, this thing looks amazing. It's so lifelike. Get it out of here without hooking myself. Got a twist tie on the back of it. That's why I couldn't get it out of the box. And I did hook myself a little bit, not too bad. You see how it rattles there? It makes a lot of noise. It's gonna be one of those. Uh, one of those big fish baits, it looks like. It's got another uh, little hook here where you can put extra weight on it if you want it to sink faster. Um, and another spot back here if you want to put a trailer hook on it if you're getting short strut. So, very lifelike looking, pretty cool looking bait. Um, this one is one of the classics. It's a Huddleston 6 inch trout. It's, uh, it's uh, the silver green pattern. Uh, I have another uh, trout pattern swim bait on the way, so this one is just kind of a general bait fish. It's not really, it's sort of a shad pattern, but it's got more of a green back than, than black, but it, uh, it's going to be tough to get out of the bag. I'm just going to show it like this right here. You should be able to see it fine. And it's a Huddleston, it's one of the classic brands of swim baits, been around a long time, and tried and true. So. The last one is called the Biwa 7-4, and this is a sinking swim bait, 4 inch, and it's in a shad pattern. See the packaging there. And this one had some pretty good reviews. This one's got a twist tie on the back as well. See that it's a pretty nice looking bait. It's kind of a glossy finish. Uh, should be good on a sunny day, and it looks like a little seven joints to it. Uh, looks like it'll move really well, and they sent a couple of extra tails with it. So pretty cool. Uh, I believe that is it for the tackle warehouse unboxing. Um, I do want to show you some angler stuff, uh, some merchandise that I have available. Um, some of you have seen these already, but this is the dry fit performance type shirt. It's got the angler logo on the front, just a simple fish logo. Um, that, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's brown on the white blue. And the back is the logo with the text. And I have two t-shirt designs right now. It's the same uh, same design, same logo design, but I have one in navy and one like it in light blue. And the t-shirts are $15 and the performance dry fit shirt is $25. And we also have koozies now. This side's got the angler logo on it, this side's got Jasper G. So, um, you can get some of these as well. But uh, anyway, that is the, oh, and the koozies are $2 a piece. And uh, that will do it for this unboxing video. Um, let us know if you like it. We'll do some more in the future, and I'll try not to hook myself again. But until then, uh, tight lines, y'all. We'll see you on the water.